and welcome back to Sandy Says. I am back here with William and we are doing our fourth installment in the series we are doing, which is elementary book reviews where William is reviewing books he likes. So if you are interested in books, this is the playlist for you. Today we are reviewing, what's the title of this book? Super Scary Narwhalies. And this book is by Ben Clanton and it is book eight eight in the narwhal and jelly series big fans of narwhal and jelly in our house is this book a chapter book or is this book a graphic novel um graphic novel it is a graphic novel that i was right and it is a colored graphic novel okay william what is this book about um it is halloween for narwhal and jelly mm -hmm. and narwhal and jelly and they're gonna go Oh, who oh, have fun at Halloween? But Jelly is afraid in of uh, in of Halloween. In Narwhal shows, it's not that scary. Like he's not even fake scared of vampires. Maybe a giant sea serpent. Okay, he's so walking. Narwhal so tells Jelly that Halloween's not so scary, and that's what the book is about. Is him trying to explain to him that it's not so no. scary? No. Oh, what's the, what's the no. book about then? The book is about that. That narwhal. Well, I'm not gonna give you that part because that's like Cause that would that, give it away. That, that one. That what makes it fun. Okay, we won't give him that part. Yeah. So the the book is about proving to Jelly that Halloween's not so scary then. Yeah, but not really. Plus some adventures. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And but he still thinks it's scary at the end. What is your favorite part in this book? Um, where they all attack the giant monster. I'm not gonna give you away who it is. This is the page where they attack a giant monster. And how many pages is this book? It looks like it is, this book is 67 pages long. And you are in the third grade, right? And, and in summer. And a reading level. Uh-huh. Reading level what? Reading level R. Reading level R. And was this book easy for you? Was it just right? Or was it a little challenging? Um, it was, like, easy. It, it should easy. be pretty easy, yeah. Yeah. Pretty easy, because even your kindergarten sister can read this book. Yeah. Yes, so it's a pretty easy one. So, even but though it's she's a, turning into first grade. Right, so she's first grade. She can read it as well. And is there anything else you want to say about this book? Mm, if if people like those funny books, just, like, do entirely funny and adventures and all that stuff, then this would, book would be a good choice to read. Not like serious graphic novels, like not those. Just like funny, just laugh out so loud funny books. Goofy, laugh out loud, silly books. This is a good choice for you to read. And what should they do if they liked your book review? To so subscribe and like this video. Like this video. And there's something special about this book. It glows it in, in the, the dark. dark. It does if you turn the lights off. The cover glows in the dark. I'll show you. Okay. And see, that is the cover glowing in the dark. See a giant owl ghost. And we will be back mommy, mommy. next week with the book review of book two in the Max Crumley book series adventures. And if you're interested in this one, be sure to check the playlist link down below because we already reviewed book one. And we'll see you guys later. Bye. Say bye. And if you watch the the one where my where I showed the first book about my favorite part. Yes, that is in yes, that is in this book. So William's favorite part in the entire series is in this book. So be sure to check out this video. I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye.